Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, uh, Art Kirsch and I are with the lovely Michelle Fabrega. Michelle, our love and relationship coach. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi, Michelle. Um, you know, every so well, we we get a lot of people who just love uh, the uh, advice and the insights that you give uh, uh, on relationships with uh, uh, children and uh, parents and all sorts of different situations. But one of the things I know our audience loves to hear about, as do we, and it's really provocative and we'd love to get more viewers. Uh, could you today talk about sex? Oh, yeah. ooh, 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 sex. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, and uh, how to maybe uh, spice it up or or what are one of the ground rules um, that you think work to spice up your sex life? Yes, yes. Well, absolutely. So I have to say that I recently took a 12 hour training with um, Dr. Marty Klein, who's a, he's been a, you know, a family therapist and sex therapist for over 40 years. The training was called Sex at Middle Age and Beyond, Dead End or New Beginnings. So this is a training for, you know, coaches and the therapists and things. And so I can't wait to share some of the things that I learned there. So I just, um, I'm glad we're on this topic because it's, um, I think it's important. I think, unfortunately, I think, you know, people in their second act get short shrift when it comes to our sexuality. We're not seeing it, um, or not our sexuality, images of our sexuality, like in the media or in movies and things like that. Some people assume like older people aren't having sex or some people assume that like, oh God, you know, wow, people in their 80s, 70s, 60s, whatever, that's not happening or that's not okay or whatever. So yeah, um, I think it's really important. So, um, I mean, there's so many things in this training that I learned, but when I, one thing I wanna focus on today here is that all of us tend to have conditions for sex. So, um, and this was originally somebody else's idea, but you know, Marty Klein talked about it in this training, but basically we have conditions about what we need to feel for ourselves for example, you know, I need to be freshly showered and I need to not have any, you know, not be in pain and I need to, you know, be in the mood or whatever. So we have our own conditions for sex for ourselves. We have conditions that we want our partner, you know, what we have for our partner, like maybe I want them to be freshly showered or maybe I want them to be really tuned into me and not distracted or, you know, different things like that. And then we have conditions for our environment to have, um, you know, satisfying sex, right? So, you know, we need privacy, you know, when people come to visit and they're staying in our guest room, you know, no, can't have sex because they might hear us, you know, whatever. So, so just different things around that, right? And so the idea in this training, and there are many, many, many <laughs> awesome things I learned, but how can we expand our conditions for sex or, you know, for just erotic experiences together? because um, he had this incredible analogy, which is, I love so much. So he talks about in Paris, right? Like anyone can enjoy Paris if they have plenty of money, great weather, and they speak French, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, you know, but many of us don't have any or some one or none of those when we go visit Paris, right? But can we still have a great time? And can we still enjoy ourselves? So a lot of it is looking at, you know, sometimes we have this really limited view of conditions, like it's gotta be just right. Like I have to not be in pain. Well, you know, some of us are in chronic pain. And so can we still enjoy being erotic with our partners, right? Or some of us, quote, don't feel attractive. And it's kind of like, what is that? like? Are we going to let ourselves limit, like maybe we don't feel attractive and so we imagine our partner doesn't find us attractive, but you know, it's not really true. And I'm, I, I have another video where I go into the thoughts in our head, but, but the idea is that it's really about learning to expand what we're willing to experience and when we're willing to have an experience together. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I like he talks about, you know, regardless of age or life stage, our sexual satisfaction depends on really three things. Self-acceptance, reasonable expectations of ourselves, our bodies, our partners, just our experience of what we're going to have together. 
and also the communication, right? So sex, you know, we many of us learned about sex when we're young, like when our bodies were most likely working like well, <laughs> but our bodies work differently as we get older. And, and that's okay. It doesn't mean we have to just put sex on the shelf, right? You know, we, maybe we take longer to get aroused. Great, more time for pleasure, right? So the idea here is that um, to notice what are your conditions and see if you can talk about them with your partner and see if you can expand them, you know, drop the goals of what has to happen specifically and see what being erotic together can can feel like. Well, you obviously got a lot of that out of that <laughs> conference. Give me the, the doctor's name again. I want to write that down. Dr. what, Marty? Dr. Marty Klein. Yeah, and we'll have that in the notes, right? Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, I will add, I will add that to the, um, to the notes at the bottom of the video. Uh, yeah. Michelle, th this is very eye-opening because we don't realize that, particularly over the years, and we're all uh, over 50, so we have had many years of sensuality, sexuality, and and we don't realize that over time we do put conditions um, on our what we what we want or think we should have uh, for for great enjoyable sex. And you're right; it's it's uh, or the doctor's right. Um, we really need to expand that, loosen up, um, yeah. and. and experiment a little bit with our own preconceived notions. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, even just to get specific, like, you know, for a woman, it's like, if, you know, if, if she's not getting aroused right away or she's not lubricating, oh, then we can't have sex, you know, or we can't. Well, since when does sex require that? Or like a man might be like, oh, my penis doesn't get hard regularly. It's like, well, can I still enjoy an erotic experience? Yeah. Yes, it can be enjoyed. And you know, it's about just feeling and the maximum, you know, our skin is our largest organ in our body and there's so much pleasure to be experienced. I mean, I've had, we did a video before about just get naked together and enjoy that. Yes. Because a lot of us, like when I think about it, like, you know, we spend time petting, you know, bringing our cat on our laps and petting our cat or, you know, cuddling with our dogs and our whatever. And it's kind of like that stuff, right? I mean, that, you know, we don't complain about how long an ice cream cone takes to eat. This is one of his examples in the, in, in the training. It's like, we don't complain that it takes a long time to eat an ice cream cone. We just enjoy the whole experience of it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. Something to think about and then, and then, yeah, think within, talk with your partner, uh, partners and um, enjoy. <laughs> yep, thank you. Uh, you know, this is a, a great addition to some of the many videos we've done with you about uh, sex and sensuality. So anybody who's interested, you can go on to celebratingact2.com and uh, or Celebrating Act 2, our, our uh, YouTube uh, channel, and find the playlist and look at some of our, our previous videos. We've done a ton of videos with you, and, and they're all great, but a number of them actually touch on the same subject. So. This is a great yeah. addition. Thank you so much. And yeah. I would like to yeah, make a recommendation to our entire audience. Uh, but we'll let you have the, the last word in a moment. But uh, what you should do is when this video is over, go out, get an ice cream cone, and watch this <laughs> video over and over again <laughs> until you fully enjoy this video. Yeah. Michelle, last yeah. word? Yeah, what, last word really is about, you know, um, you know, just in terms of our, you know, maybe illness or medications and things, you know, they do impact our lives erotically. So it's important to be an informed consumer, you know, with your doctor, you know, some doctors aren't comfortable talking about sex, but some, some things will have different, you know, sexual implications. So it's important to be talking about this and, and knowing what you're getting yourself into with different things. And, um, it's just, it's just part of, you know, um, it's part of, the reality and um but life and in our erotic nature can still be expressed and enjoyed thank you michelle for more on celebrating act two visit our webpage follow us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and tell your friends celebrating act two is the user manual for the second half of your life